Ah, KSI, world-renowned YouTuber, turned musician, turned boxer, mega internet celebrity, just released a penetrating documentary on his life, and you won't believe what they discussed within it. This therapy session of a documentary released on Amazon Prime Video delves deep into what has made him the man he is today. And this isn't just the good stuff, no, no, no. This is like delving deep into the, how the lack of physical and verbal love he received as a child from his parents has led to him living a life of constantly feeling like he has to prove himself worthy. And how the intensity and expectations that he has built himself impact the relationships that he has with his brother Deji and his girlfriend. This is not a happy-go documentary of all the successes he's had in every single industry that he's ever entered. No, this is a real deep dive into the inner workings of KSI, JJ's mind. This is a therapeutic journey of discovery that we join him on breaking down his problems and his eventual attempt to resolve them. So what were some of these traumas and insecurities that has made him so successful while simultaneously devouring his personal life? And how was the documentary able to convey his journey and the inner workings of his mind? A mind that has made him one of the most famous and successful people across Britain and even the world today. The documentary comes across as an advanced Wikipedia page, an extended YouTube vlog, a world builder that breaks down the barriers between the celebrity KSI and the human JJ. The documentary starts by showing KSI performing in front of tens of thousands of people, his absolute dream, which then pretty much instantly cuts to him in a back room talking with Randolph just after the show about the insanity of the moment. We often put our idols on these pedestals, so it's important to have shows like this to really humanize them. The documentary momentarily discusses the relationship KSI has with his audience and how they are almost like friends as they have grown up with each other for so many years. The parasocial relationship that the audience can build with him makes them feel like he is one of them, he is a friend. Like how many A-list Hollywood celebrities can you say you could build that sort of connection with, especially before social media? This is a new era. And because they have built this almost like friendship, when they interact with each other, they are able to interact on a much more casual basis. And in KSI's words, they bully him and he bullies them back. It is not this pedestal, oh my God, you're the greatest. Yes, sometimes you have a bit of a hype, but it is a lot more like you almost know each other. That's the power of social media. If used right, you can inspire so many more people at a much deeper level because you are a real person behind the screen. So whatever you have done is achievable for those watching. KSI highlights this when he talks about how meaningful it is to receive messages from his audience about how he has inspired and impacted their lives. So what were some of the glimpses that we got into KSI? What did this documentary reveal? Deji explains how he thinks the reason KSI has been able to have such drive and such passion towards the things he does is because he's always felt like he's had something to prove, especially to his parents. He always had the cliche expectation to get good grades and get a good job. So obviously his parents weren't too happy when he was spending so much time on YouTube. But that was until he turned 19 and was already making £10,000 or $20,000 a month off YouTube. 240 grand at 19 years old, ain't too bad. So then they were like, okay, maybe this is an industry that you can pursue. After a backroom discussion KSI has with Deji after Deji's third boxing loss, KSI reveals that he's terrified of losing, that losing isn't an option. And this explains why he's so determined to succeed in all the career avenues he's pursued. The documentary then also infers that this is potentially why there has been a separation in his relationship with his brother Deji. The fact that they are on such two different wavelengths, KSI carries this huge expectation, you know, this, this high achievement and this absolute need and desire to win where Deji may not have that same level of ambition. KSI also admits that he has started going to therapy and that it's been good for him to break down his experiences during his childhood and how that, you know, has created the person he is now. This ultimate need for success, this ultimate ambition that he has building up within himself. We saw the devastation that it had with his relationship with Deji, but also the fact that it was one of the reasons that he was unable to maintain his relationship at the time. His mind was never off. He was always in go mode. He was always doing things and working and traveling for his career in YouTube and music. And that meant he was unable to put the time into the relationship that he felt it deserved. And obviously KSI's girlfriend is never included in the documentary just because she's a normal nine to five person, wants to stay out of the limelight. But right at the end, they show how the whole story has come full circle and he's able to reconnect with his girlfriend. How was the documentary able to effectively reveal that? 
One of the first things that I instantly noticed was when KSI was talking about the criticism he would receive online, potentially the hate comments. Those comments appeared on the screen in the same sort of style and format as the D'Amelio show, and for a reason, because it works. It effectively plays the role of receipts for the criticisms he claims to receive, which is in line with Hassan Minhaj's new comedy special, Really Strove to Do, is if you claim something, have something there to back it up and prove it so it's not just a fantasized story, there it is, it's legitimate, it's undeniable. The documentary in itself was very simply filmed, there's nothing complicated, there was nothing particularly special with the videography, I think they probably could have done a bit more there, it was pretty basic, but it did its job. It's like a normal TV show, you know, it's not something that's going to be an Oscar winner, but it's fine. And, you know, if you don't really care about KSI, you're probably not watching this video anyway. But really, it is tailored towards KSI's audience. If you don't like him, you're probably not going to like the documentary. And I think, most interestingly, they used Deji, KSI's brother, to really carry the story of the documentary. In that Deji was able to reveal things that maybe KSI wouldn't even know himself or wouldn't be able to verbalize. He was able to act as the inside source, carrying the documentary on scene by scene. I think in totality the documentary was effective in its ability to reveal these insights into the mind of KSI, this international celebrity that has achieved this insane success in an industry that really people didn't even know existed 10 years ago. But if you want to look more into the crater economy and look at more interesting things happening within the space, I definitely recommend watching this video right here.